You want you need to just go get married. If you serious and he's serious, go get married right now. What are you doing? You already know him for eight. You don't need to get to know him no more. It's already been eight years. Um, I'm sitting outside. I just got to gym. Um, so what I would like to say is I do appreciate I can, the uh, honest. Pull your, pull your camera down some. You, oh, sorry. My phone is broken. Maybe, yeah. So okay. that's the screen. Yeah. Okay. So my screen cracked. I just want to say I appreciate no, you. Yeah, I'm honest. saying you got the, it's looking like I'm, you look like this. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. So I just want to say I do appreciate the honesty because had I, like, I think if a lot of women had someone honest and telling us the truth, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be making some of the mistakes that we make like right now i'm gonna be 35 i don't have children and i was in an eight-year relationship good dude you know we broke up because he struggled with spawn addiction and some other things but you know um when we broke up I, I i wouldn't blame it on my friends but i will say that we was young and dumb didn't build a by a high body count by the grace of god but you know, Why we was you stay here for eight years without any type of uh, marriage. Why? Um, I, that's the thing. We was engaged, and then my brother was pew pew, and we split up for a year or two. And I was dealing with things mentally, and then I went back. But then, why did you just, get married within the first year or two? Why? Um, just I, honestly, How I'm just gonna take account. How old were you when you got together with him? How old were you? Oh, 18. 18. Okay, how old was he? Um, he was uh, hold on, cause he's six years older than me, so I don't know. Six years older than me, so at the time, truthfully okay, speaking, so you you were not no you or nobody in your family was. See, this is why it's important to have yeah family or people you're surrounded by that love you, care about you, because they're going to require and they're going to put the pressure on you to get married. No, no, yeah, that's true. They're not, gonna, they're not gonna tell you, oh, just do your thing out here with a boyfriend or just have some guy that you're seeing and stay with him for as long as you want. They're not gonna say that. Because they know the importance. Do y'all realize as women, y'all may not realize wealth is passed on through mostly death, not life. See, y'all have it backwards as women. Yeah. That's why so many women, y'all do things and scam and scheme and try to get with dudes with money to get child support and all this stuff so that you can get money while you're living. That's not how wealth is passed on. Wealth is passed okay. through death. Estates, life. That's how wealth is passed. Yeah. Yeah, so that's true. And that's why I said I've grown and I learned a lot. And I think it just honestly came from when you grow up in, I didn't have a bad household. I grew up in a two parent household and they you didn't even understand out. what I'm saying or my point. Cause you just want to hear up and talk. The point no, is, no, is I'm... that the point is, is that if you are married or for instance, if your parents were married and your father passes and he has his estate and then your mother passes and she held on to the estate and she was wise. Now the estate goes to you. And then you do the same thing with your children. Y'all are out here staying in, with men and screwing them for eight years and get nothing. Yeah, I appreciate the honest feedback. Um, and that's why your children get nothing. Oh, I, listen. What can your children get that you don't have? You're in charge of your children. I'm making a point. You, your children cannot get nothing that you don't get. So I don't disagree. What are your I kids think, gonna do with some dick? Um so that's why I said I don't disagree. Um he put me through college. Um he did a lot for me. I didn't have to pay for a lot of things. And honestly, at the time when you're young, I wasn't in a rush to be married because honestly, I, I just wasn't. I'm just being honest, I'm not gonna tell any lie. And I think it just comes from the upbringing. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Finally, the tr realest thing you said so far. Yeah, I'm you wasn't honest. in a rush. You wasn't trying to be married. There you go. 
Oh yeah, I wasn't so, sleeping no, around. No, but, but my my point is, is that y'all should lead with that. You want to lead with all this other stuff, your childhood and this and that. No, yeah. lead with. I, when I was younger, Guru, I wasn't trying to be married. I didn't make it a priority. Now, yeah. eight years later, I'm out here looking like a fool. Um, I'm I'm not un single. Um, by the way, but yeah, the point I was making. You have a is, husband. I am engaged, so yes. you have a husband. Not yet. When is I the will. wedding date? Next year. The what day my is the passed. date? September twenty eighth. The day my brother passed. So September twenty so. eighth. That's a year from now. Right. That's way too long. It it isn't. No. You need. Are y'all intimate? Are y'all intimate? We have been for about. A year now, I would celebrate three years. When's the last I, time y'all were intimate? About two weeks ago. Y'all don't live together? No, we don't. Okay. What happens if you get pregnant? I'm on birth control and we use protection. What happens if you get pregnant? I don't care about no birth control. Birth control is not 100%. What happens if you get pregnant right now? Well, we can't. I can't have children. Why? For health reasons. So I why have you on birth control then because it makes my, sense it does because i have pcos and it regulates my hormones i asked you about if you got pregnant you you brought up the birth control why would you bring up birth control if you can't have children because it's going to be a natural instinct to the give doctors it. told you that you cannot have children right but i still regularly take birth control because so i have PCOS. Have, have you had you had a hysterectomy no so how but can so how is it a hundred percent that you cannot have children? How? Because I was with the same person eight years. Okay, get off the birth control right now and let him shoot up inside of you fifty times and see if you get pregnant. How about that? Then we can test it. Oh, okay. I'm just. Okay. Now I want you to come back. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I completely get where you're coming from. Um, the point I was making is the same person who I dated for eight years, we ended up reuniting and we both had our differences. The reason why I didn't want to get married at first is because they had a kid with one woman and I wasn't comfortable at first because it was just like, I look at why didn't you marry the last woman? And I was afraid to be a baby mama. So that's why I held back. And I wasn't quick to jump into something because I was young. I was 18 when I met him. You look into I mean, who who did you look into? Why did he marry the last baby mama? The one you with now? Um, there's, I went back to the person who I was with for eight years. I was celibate for three years. And oh, you guys are back together? That's correct. I moved to a different How many city. children does he have? He has two with the same woman, but now they're, I think the children are about 16, somewhere in the age range. Okay, why didn't he marry her? I that's why I did, was skeptical on marrying him because I don't know. You I think that after you think that after eight years. Okay, let me explain this to y'all. I have to make this known to y'all. Watch this. Everybody in the comments, I need you guys to answer me right now. I don't think there's any cell phone companies that do long term contracts anymore. But I want to ask everybody right now in the comments. If you have been going eight years, month to month with a cell phone company, maybe switched companies a few times, and now the cell phone company said you got to lock in for 10 years, would you sign the contract or would you leave that company? Would you sign, right, yes, if you would sign the contract or no? Would you sign, if you've been on month to month for eight years, would you now sign a 10 year contract? Yes or no with the cell phone company? Would you sign yes or no? Okay. I mean, I, most, I most, understand. People, most people are saying no. Do you, do you see how this works? After a man have been getting you for eight years, why in the hell would he sign up for a long term contract with you for the rest of his life? Um, he was. I gave the ring back. I don't know if he was listening to that. We were supposed to get married and my brother was pew pewed. And so we took That's even on. worse. That means it's already been turned. Do, are you not hearing yourself? Yeah, I hear. 
I don't have a reason to lie. I'm very honest. There's, like I said, everything is a learning point. I'm Look, not somebody in the comments wrote, you. "I just broke a lease because of that." Thank you. No, that's why I said I'm. I'm not coming up here to disagree with you. I'm saying the information you're giving is helpful because had I known what I know now. It would have saved a lot of women time. That's what I'm saying. But I'm I, still saying the problem is you still have a problem now. You wasting your time now. A year? You want? You need to just go get married. If you serious, and you serious, go get married right now. What are you doing? You already known him for eight. You don't need to get to know him no more. It's already been eight years. Have a good day, lady. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.